Greetings all, this is Hairy Nick. How are you guys going? Today we are looking down onto my desk because I want to show off some stuff. Yes, it's coming into December, the primary gift giving part of the year, the time of year where we all acquire stuff. And I've wanted to make more videos in general talking about stuff because I like stuff. And being a tabletop gamer, an X-Wing gamer in particular, we do tend to acquire a lot of stuff. And over the past month, I've just happened to come across a lot of stuff. I attended the Australian Nationals. I had a few things sent in by a few different viewers. And yeah, just got a lot of different things I want to show off. FFG are pretty good when it comes to tournament support. Uh, we have these guys that came in the X-Wing 2nd Edition launch party. This was one of the prizes that came out just before 2nd Edition. It's pretty good stuff. Um, they've gotten a lot better in the past year, I reckon, with this kind of stuff. But you can argue that they could be doing more. Indeed, the community as a whole does seem to like this kind of thing, and as a result, there's been a lot of members within the community who have made their own uh, alternate art cards and tokens and all that kind of thing. It really is testament to how cool this community is. So while this kind of stuff is great, and I do want to make this video for two reasons. One, to just show off these things and go, hey, look at the cool things I have, guys. But I also want to give a shout out to all the members of the community that do go above and beyond and make these items for us to enjoy as some extra tournament flavor. So I'll put those above there. First of all, I'm going to show something that a patron sent in, Mr. Pasquillus on the Patron Discord. He actually lives here in Melbourne and was actually able to hand these to me in person. Now, not this tray, this is my dice tray, but these tokens right here, these are being sold under the brand name of Proxus. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And you can click the link below to see the Facebook page for that. Selling for $1.50 each, or $100 for a pack of 73, which is what you're seeing in front of you. That's all Australian prices as well. So get in contact via the Facebook page if you'd like to pick some of these up. But yes, essentially these are X-Wing tokens and it would just be jolly good if my camera decided to focus. There we go, there's a cloak token there for you. So this is very similar to the tabletop tokens I got made, except that this is not glass. This is actually like a softer plastic. It is a tiny bit sticky as we can see here. It's a tad susceptible to getting uh, dust and stuff on it. That's gonna wash off pretty easily though. All in all, these have actually survived quite well because um, the day I picked these up was a hot summer's eve here in Australia. So they were actually sitting in my car while I was at work and they actually fared all right. A few of them did stick together, but when I got them home, they just unstuck and all that's fine. Also being plastic and not glass means they are a lot lighter and a lot more durable as a result. I have a whole bunch of those tabletop tokens that are made of glass and I'm very, very careful with those. I actually have a separate bag for these. These guys just here, I would be happy throwing around um, chucking about in a bag and I wouldn't worry about them too much to be honest. These feel nice and durable. Plus, unlike the tabletop tokens who are uh, metal on the back, let's get that to focus, these are double-sided, which is a nice little bonus, I think. Very relevant for second edition, that is for sure. Um, not a lot we can do with single-sided tokens in terms of shield, and we've got a force token here as well. There we go. Only real criticism I have of these is it seems like they were printed with a computer. And as such, the colors are not uh, very bright or vivid. I mean, they're good, but I look at this pink or maybe this blue, or actually specifically this red on the back, and I think that could be a little bit clearer, but it's only a minor complaint I have. I still think they are very clear. If we have a look at the resolution, I see how close I can bring it to my camera without it getting fuzzy. Yeah, it's about there. You can see it's very, very clear. I mean, even with the naked eye, I have to look really, really close to see the dots. So it is a nice high resolution and good in general. Um, I've never been a huge fan of the cardboard tokens FFG put in their packs. I mean, look, they come with the expansions. We can't really expect acrylic for the prices they sell those at. So I'm always on the lookout for these sort of aftermarket things. And this is a pretty good option. Oh, one more thing talking about those FFG tokens. Let me just find one. Let's get an FFG cardboard stress token. I know, first edition, utter sacrilege. Sorry, it's all I had near me. These actually sit sort of proud of the table because as you can see, they're sort of curled. So picking them up is very, very easy. Flipping them over is very, very easy. Considering some of these tokens need to be flipped, that's excellent. Uh, these ones, it's very, very easy, especially if you've got fat fingers. I mean, mine aren't too fat. 
uh, it's difficult to sort of grip it and like flipping it over. Oh no, like you sort of your fingers just graze over it lightly. Like these just are nice and simple because they're um, slightly elevated off the table. They actually grip really, really nicely. Again, a minor complaint of the FFG stuff, but a nice quality of life improvement that I like of these over the FFG tokens and indeed most tokens in general. Uh, so Pasquillus, thank you for sending those in. Very, very nice. I dig those a lot. Again, have a look at my social media, guys. If we get any more developments on the availabilities of these, I will post those up. Okay, we have another item from one of our viewers. We had this sent in and given to me via Lockie of the Hell of a Pilot podcast. So Lockie, thank you so much for passing this on. Also, Michael Bird, thank you for giving this as well. They've got this little note here. We have a little pack of cards for both me and Justin. So Justin, if you're watching, mate, that's yours. Uh, yeah, just some old art cards from these guys over at East Coast Gamers in case you guys are wondering about that I'll put their card here on the screen for you guys to see uh, Jersey saw X-Wing community on Facebook. That's East Coast Gamers NJ.com for you guys in case you want to find out where those guys are at and these are old art cards of Lando Wedge and Suntia uh, sort of the more photorealistic art style if you take a close look at the Lando card here for example It's kind of slightly cell shaded in the look they've taken uh, An image from the movie and sort of blurred out the background and uh, given Lando a more solid color kind of feel But I really like the art style on this nice high quality um, smooth talking gambler He's in a very very fancy font we move over to wedge We actually get some of the art going over some of his stats if I get my camera to focus there we go very nice and Suntia, similar art style to Wedge, but again, slightly different. Really cool alt art cards, really dig these. So thank you so much to Michael for sending those ones in. I'll just leave these to one side so we can see all that while I go through the rest of these. Oh, and speaking of the guys from Hell of a Pilot, I also got a nice stack of alternate art cards that they gave me. Last time I recorded with their podcast, which was, ooh, geez, a couple of months ago. Yeah, sorry for taking so long with these guys. But we have some nice alt art um, based on the memes that some of these guys have made. There's one from Guardians of the Galaxy, Elusive. Um, a hull upgrade with Marty McFly with Back to the Future. I love that one. Afterburners with Taco Bell, no comment. Shield upgrade with um, Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot for those of you who are as old as me and uh, just started playing all the re-releases of Crash Bandicoot, which are friggin' awesome. Um... <laughs> Uh, Eric Cartman with Sense, love it. Marksmanship with that guy from the American office. I haven't watched much of that, but I understand it's a very funny show. Stealth Device with Incognito Mode from Google Chrome. Not that I ever use Incognito Mode. I'm a good boy. I never have any use for that. And a nice contraband cybernetics with Rick from Rick and Morty. Looks lovely. Also, you guys handed me this stack of cards as well. And I'm sorry, I've forgotten who made these ones. I believe these were either by the guys at Hell of a Pilot or Marcus from the Cryat. So um, shout out to whoever these are. But yes, we have some more meme cards. It's the Holy Hand Grenade Bomblet Generator. Um, the Knights Who Say Knee Death Troopers. Uh, I love these. Darth Vader as the Black Knight from the Holy Grail again. Um, <laughs> uh, Michael Palin and the Inquisitors. Biggles, get the comfy chair. Oh man, I love Monty Python. And Emperor Palpatine has the Sorcerer Tim. Ah, uh, these are awesome. These are awesome. If I ever record any um, games for the channel again, which I will hopefully soon. We've got some announcements regarding that, by the way, guys. Um, I will use these whenever I can and make sure they're nice and clear on camera. Now, now I've got a whole pile of stuff over here that I picked up over at the Oz Nats. And I'm sorry, I'm going to try and give everyone a shout out as best I can, but if I forget anyone, extra sorry about that. First of all, to the excellent fellows over at Onyx who actually hosted the event, uh, we get these old art cards. We have a nice four lom here, get it to focus. I'm not sure what that art's from, but it's very, very nice. A uh, couple of these sort of black border style cards with Lieutenant Psy and Old Terok. And a nice cartoonized version of uh, Lando Calrissian. No idea where that art's from. That's really, really awesome. It's definitely based on the movie with um, his Sabak card. So, yeah, don't know about that. Now, one of my opponents at the Nationals handed this to me. And 
Ah, it's part of that club there. KOPR. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at memorizing these. Um, but this guy had a whole stack of these poor cards. Look, if you happen to watch this video, please tell me in the comment section and I'll make sure that there is a pinned note down below. Um, but he had one for most of the pilots. I had to have the Boba Fett one. In fact, I think my Boba Fett's actually sitting behind this. Yes, there it is. I actually used this during the tournament. Lovely, lovely. We have a few more cards here. We got a couple more cards here by the Onyx Squadron guys. Red Moose standing by. I'm not sure what that's referring to. But these are from some of the old Star Wars comics and these are utterly gorgeous. This Boba Fett and this Predator. Um, I saw this in the prize table. I had to have these, so... Love that. That's really, really awesome. We've got a few cards here by the Australian Cryot Squadron. A nice full art Boba Fett. Um, a few more meme cards. Banana Pirate, the Grand Galactic Inquisitor. Uh, I'm not sure what that show is, actually. And um, Fen Rao with um, uh, the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise, which I, I, is fitting. Sure, why not? Sounds fantastic. The Hall of Heroes, the shop who sponsored the Australian Nationals, actually had these as participation prizes, which are awesome. It's a alt art version of Kylo Ren, which is very fitting actually, because FFG for these Nationals gave us first edition Kylo Ren alt art cards, which, um, who cares? They're not legal anymore, so yeah. Hall of Heroes, based up in Campbelltown in New South Wales. In case any of you guys are based around there and haven't checked them out, you should. Nice bunch of guys. I have this copy of Fen Rao, and I have no idea who gave it to me. Again, a lot of people at the tournament. Um, just a heads up, if you are the kind of person that wants to make stuff like this, just put your club logo on the back. That makes sure. We have allwings.com on the back here. I'll have a quick research while I'm doing my editing and post a link down below. Oh, also, one more thing from the Cryats. This is a very, very interesting initiative that they have put forward. Skill is transistive. Hang on, hang on, I've got to do it like the Star Wars thing. Uh, keep this card in your wallet. Whenever you play X-Wing, if you lose a game that has stakes, give half of your cards to the winner. Rounding up. When you first get this card, sign the back. Compete to see who gets the most cards by Worlds 2019. So yes, um, a really, really cool idea and a cool initiative. Trying to see how far and wide these cards can go. Now, uh, Josh, if you're watching, mate, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yours is actually the only card I have. Uh, a fellow Victorian who I did happen to beat in the Nationals. I actually um, gave away all the cards with Harry Nick on them, so if anyone out there has them, feel free to send me pictures of them. Oh, and a packet of World Championship sleeves. These are official uh, participation things that FFG give out at the World Championships. So a nice little pickup. Um, being Australian, it's very difficult to participate in those, so not bad. Uh, FFG sleeves are pretty average overall. But you don't really need good quality sleeves for um, X-Wing and other games like that. It's really more the TCGs that require that kind of thing. So not bad, not bad. A nice haul. Oh, also, also <laughs> stickers. God, I keep putting things down and having a look sideways and saying, oh, I've got all this extra stuff. Yeah, the guys over at Onyx provided these as well. I have no idea what I'm going to put them on. Um, actually, I have a sewing box that I keep most of my X-Wing tokens in. So I might stick all these over that. That would be kind of fun. Oh, one more thing. See? See? I can't stop. We have a bunch of tokens um, that are jam tokens. And a lot of people are making these jam tokens that are actually in the shape of jam jars. But here in Australia, we go one further. We made these um, Vegemite jars. Again, the guys over at Onyx Squadron provided me with these. Actually, uh, Rob, if you're watching, thank you for giving all of these away. He gave me a whole stack to pass on to some of the guys here in Victoria, so I will be doing that. But before I did, I just wanted to uh, show off my stack of Vegemite jam jars on camera. And yes, that's it for now. I think I have rather suitably messed up my desk enough for one video. Thanks again to whoever provided these through whatever means they did. By the way, guys, if you are keen for me to have a look at stuff on camera, always happy to do that. I don't really have like a PO box or anything for the channel. Maybe one day I'll be big enough to warrant that. In the meantime, if you have anything like this and you'd like me to have a look at it, feel free to contact me via Facebook or Twitter and we can chat about that. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Reddit, and I'll catch you guys later on.